Hey there and welcome to Garden Zyla. More and more garden owners are getting themselves a lawnmower robot so that the green area always looks neat and they don't have to push the mower around the garden. But before you can make yourself comfortable in the lounge chair and watch the little helper at work, you have to lay the corresponding cable. This boundary wire prevents the robot from mowing where it shouldn't, like on flower beds, around solitary perennials or bushes, and around trees, or simply where you want to leave a wild meadow. This work only occurs once when you have purchased the device new, but it's worth putting in a little effort and work there so that the robot drives accurately and there are no problems. We want to show you all today how to do the whole thing the best way. Have fun! We purchased the Gardena Selenomi robotic lawnmower last year. We have reattached our test video for you once more. Of course, we also had to lay boundary cables and guide cables in this location. So we are going to show you how to lay it out with this example. Let's initiate with the main cable. This is a cable that demonstrates the My Air, the pathway to the charging station subsequent to it, has received the command from the timer. He is directed between the charging station and a designated point on the boundary cable. At the charging station, there's a pass through for this cable, so it runs along underneath the floor plate. Up front, it comes back in the grass and can be laid deep into the turf from there using the included lawn nails. First, it should go straight for 2 meters, as seen from the floor plate. The other end of the guide cable is connected to the designated spot on the boundary cable. The three ends of the cable, two from the boundary cable and one from the guide cable, are approximately trim 20 centimeters after the junction and adhere the ends into a crimp connector. This is filled with grease and thus prevents water from reaching the wire end, which would result in a short circuit. The guide cable should centrally run across the entire area, depending on the circumstances, so that the Mi robot can easily find it from anywhere. When it comes to the boundary cable, it's a piece of cake. It's led everywhere the mower is supposed to reach its limits. So he has a limited space that he will keep going around. If you have a lawn area without obstacles, such as our flower bed in the middle of the lawn, Laying it is extremely easy. Just go around the outside and connect it to the other ends of the charging station. Done. You just need to make sure to loop a loop at the designated connection point of the lead cable. If you have, like us, an island in the middle of your lawn, it's also quite easy to solve. Here you go with the cable from the shortest route from the edge to the obstacle as straight as possible. Afterwards, the cable is wrapped around the obstacle once, and then a small extra distance is covered back with a very small distance. Then it will be continued on the edge. The lawnmower will now proceed to drive over the two cables. The important thing here is that the cables don't cross over each other and aren't too far apart. If the cables are properly laid according to the user manual, and no areas have been forgotten where the mower should or should not drive, it will now mow perfectly. If you notice that he keeps getting stuck on the way to the charging station because he's running out of power, you'll need to check the position of the guide cable and possibly change it again. The cables don't need to be reinstalled over and over again. They can also stay in the garden throughout the winter. You can also bury the cables in the ground. After a few weeks, the cables will be hardly visible above the ground anymore. We hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If so, feel free to leave us a subscription so you don't miss any more videos. If you're a fan of the written word and interested in gardening, feel free to check out our garden magazine at www.gartensiley.de. See you next time.